Right now, let's get to some potentially well, very big uh, breaking news here because the organisers of the failed European Super League debacle uh, that we followed here on Sky Sports News not so long ago have uh, just announced new proposals and they are now claiming that 80 teams could be involved. Yeah, so nearly two years ago, the Breakaway League was announced with 12 founding members, including the likes of Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester City, Manchester United and Tottenham. The news was met with fierce opposition and collapsed within days. Well, UEFA and FIFA blocked any further versions of a Super League, a move which is being challenged by organisers A2022 in court. Last October, we began an open dialogue on the future of European club football. Since then, we have spoken to nearly 50 European clubs and other stakeholders. The vast majority of them share the assessment that the very foundation of European football is under threat. It is time for change. European club football is at a tipping point. Huge imbalances have emerged across the continent and clubs with glorious European traditions are no longer able to compete. Clubs bear all entrepreneurial risks, but too often are forced to sit on the sidelines when key decisions are made, and they are watching their sporting and financial foundations crumble. And our discussions have made clear, clubs are often unable to publicly speak up against a system where the threat of sanctions is used to stifle opposition. Later this year, the Court of Justice of the European Union will rule on the legality and the compatibility of the wafer monopoly with the fundamental freedoms, principles and values of the EU. Their decision will impact not only football, but all European sports. Our objective is to present a sustainable sporting project for European club competitions available at a minimum to all 27 EU member states. Today, we present the preliminary results of the first phase of our dialogue, which has been honest, direct and constructive. And there are clear conclusions about the need for change and the building blocks of how to achieve it. We have distilled the consistent feedback into 10 principles, which should set the framework for a future European club competition. Clearly, there is more work to be done and the dialogue will continue. We are now entering the decisive phase for the future governance of European club football. So then, here we go again. And uh, here are some of the main points from the revitalized league. It's proposed to have up to 80 teams in a multi-divisional format, but with no permanent members. The closed shop aspect of the league was one of the main points of criticism when the initial league was announced, of course. Now, organisers have said there would be a minimum of 14 matches per season.